Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Chronicles of Zap Paladin in the game of City of Heroes. We're really excited to be back here because it's been, I looked, March 3, 2020 was the last episode that I uploaded. Um, I think it was around March 4 or 5 that we got the little notification that we were not allowed to do this anymore. But it was, uh, I can't remember, April 12 uh, or sometime fairly recent that we got the notification that it is okay to upload and live stream City of Heroes content with some quid pro quos. Um, so we're not going to step on any of those. We should be pretty good. Um, we don't get into the hate speech and all that other stuff, and none of our characters are copyrighted to the best of our knowledge. So, um, so anyhow, I am joined with uh, by... I never know which darn conjunction to use there. But anyhow, I have with me, uh, to our screen left, is... I can't remember which character it is. It's currently occupied, Talonflesh. So I couldn't remember what character you brought this time. Uh. So, And you are holding him back to do all the content. Is that correct? I'm trying to do all the regular origin content hero side. Yeah. Um, I was trying to do both sides, but it turned out to be a little more work than I had wanted. <laughs> I can see that definitely. Yeah. Uh, yep. And then over to screen right, Zap's left, would be Raquel Moore, which is Captain Clueless. And we have a nurse that's running by. What is she? What is she afraid of? What did she run away for? There's nothing over there. <laughs> Oh, well, she just ran by behind us, but anyhow. Maybe it's a code blue. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> okay. So anyhow, we are picking up right where we left off. Uh, it, we had this mission stop circle from sighting pact. Zap has done nothing uh, at all since the last uh, episode that was uploaded. So uh, uh, nice shot and... All of Talon's... You brought a lot of characters over with us. You brought Talonflesh, you brought Ombrol, you brought... Uh, there was What was the third one you brought Light with Rider. us? Light Rider. Yep. They're all 50s now. Um, so Zap is like sitting back here at, at 33. But they're bringing in characters that are around the same range. So... Uh, and a pretty good mix here, because we've got Blaster. That's, uh, you know, yours truly. And then we have... Uh, the Sentinel of currently occupied, and his uh, his Sparky. Where did Sparky go? Sparky's uh, gone. Okay. Come forth, Sparky. <laughs> There's Sparky. There's Sparky. Right there. You gotta move so we can see Sparky. There. There is Sparky. Okay. And then whatever your red wisp is named. Um, uh, it's not. It's just one of the free uh, drones. Yep. Well, he yeah. might have a name for it. I, I can actually rename the Red Wisp. I can't rename... Well, I can't do anything with Sparky except call him forth. Right. Uh, and then Raquel Moore, we have a brute, so can kind of hold aggro for for uh, a lot of things. But we have two electrical people here. So uh, what is True. currently occupied power sets? We're going to go in here and we're going to see... Electrical Blast, Electrical Armor, which... Blast, I know. Electrical Armor, I've never played with before. So... Okay. I assume Sparky is off of Electrical Armor. Oh, he's uh, Blast. Blast, yep. Actually, now that I think about it, I, f I forgot. Um, I have Sparky as well. Be able to have a Sparky. Yep, I forgot. I got a Sparky as well. So... Uh, oh, and I can't dismiss Sparky now. That's okay. right. <laughs> well, you anyhow. Can't do anything with them except bring them out. <laughs> yep. And then follows around. So, okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and take on this mission. I'm not even going to read the dialogue because I'm pretty certain I read the dialogue when uh, at the last episode when I picked it up. So, all right. Well, we're here in Founders Falls, just across the way from my favorite spot in the entire game over there, Williams Square. Um. <laughs> can fly over here and I can show you Zap, uh, not Zap's, Power Paladin's apartment. It's up here. I've always thought that he had an apartment, the top two floors of this tower right here. So, 
Um, but anyhow, so. But yeah, it has been a long time, and there have been changes to the game, too, in the last year. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So we've got, we're up to issue 27, page 2. They added the Night Shift, which is the new arc at, what is that, about 35 range? Yep, pretty good uh, Yep. Sounds about right. And then an equivalent, uh, the counterweight of that red side, which I can't remember the name of that arc. Um, there is yeah. massive changes to power sets. In fact, travel has changed greatly. All the travel powers got a major overhaul. Um, I'm still a little on a little upset about why concealment got pulled into the entire thing. Because I don't, I, I don't know. Is there truly a invisibility anymore? Yeah, it's stealth. See, now that doesn't make any sense. Why? Yeah, there was an invisibility. They changed it to stealth, and they took stealth and turned it into invisibility. Oh, ambush. Okay. Oh, there. Hey. Well, they turned invisibility into infiltration and made it. Uh, an actual travel power. Okay. And remember, I was saying, I, I, for some reason, I brought up Nemesis. Apparently, Nemesis was part of this mission. So. Okay. We were discussing beforehand uh, the mission. Oh, you know what? This might be, like, the second mission of, uh, like, a mini arc. Okay, are these crystals white on your side? Uh, I have a blue, a green, and a red one. Okay. Depending on your uh, graphic settings, they may show up white. I, on my new work machine, they show up white for some reason. Why are you Why are you playing on a work computer? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so I'm waiting for things to run. <laughs> and you know. I suppose the company likes me to keep my sanity. <laughs> this is one thing that helps me keep me sane. So. Hey, I had to remember how all these powers work, but I do remember this one. Like, ball lightning. So, ball lightning. Yep. And hasten, I forgot to get that just set to, uh... Oh yeah, and I have this. Zing, and hold them. Ha ha ha. I forgot about Tesla Cage. I love Tesla Cage. Yep. <laughs> and is this his nuke? We'll find out. I'm gonna jump ahead of you, Raquel. Yep, that's his nuke. Thunderous Blast? Uh, is that what it is? Yep, Thunderous Blast. Yeah. I don't think that's a, a point blank nuke. I think you can do it at range. Mine you can. I don't know if there's. It didn't give me an option to place it. No, you target it. Oh, you target it on a mob? Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, if I just right click, it'll tell me it is a ranged targeted AoE. Okay. That's always been one of the very cool things of a electrical blast. So I don't have to get up all in it. I'm just so used to doing that with uh, my energy, energy blaster. It's a hard habit to break. It is, because I used to do it too on uh, because of my uh, dark blast. So, no. oh, we got some in the water over here, right to our left. Right to our left? Our left to our right? Both of those could work. Oh, it's Lieutenant Harburton. Formerly of Halliburton. Uh oh, and that's because we kind of abandoned you over there. Sorry, because we were we were dealing with the ones that we left in the water over here.
Oh, that was quick. That was freaking sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, and earned oh the corruptor badge. Anybody else get it? Um, I got a badge. I'm pretty sure I already had it. Since, of course, I've been trying to do everything. Isn't that one of the achievements? Yeah, oh, accomplishments. Accomplishments. Yep. Yeah, and that's another change that they did. They fixed the artwork on all these uh, ranked accomplishments. Because there were like two or three of them that had the same number of pips on them. Uh -oh, in okay. the same class. But anyhow, okay, so that must have been the end of that uh, that arc. Because, yeah, I do remember it starting with the uh, law firm, but then we went in and it's like, Orenbega, this is a really strange law firm. So, <laughs> all right, so Tina Chung, what does she have to say? If those villains had teamed up, it would have been trouble for sure. I'm glad you were there to put a stop to it, Zap Paladin. We may never know how many lives your actions have saved. Okay, uh, I'm going to leave for because I want to see what other contacts do I have at the moment. So, oh, I have an arc going with Jenny. Uh, Jenny Firkins. This is she's devouring Earth, okay. isn't she? Yeah. Uh, it looks like I have Unity Play going with her. So, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Doctor Ito and his team have finished the cure. Now they just need to distribute it to the city. Unfortunately, there's a complication, and that's where they need some help. Are you willing to distribute the cure to the Unity Plague? It won't be easy. In order to make a cure that could counter the Unity Plague and prevent a future infection, Dr. Ito had to re-engineer the plague itself. So the cure is, well, semi-intelligent, and the Devouring Earth can detect it. So there's a very good chance they'll be trying to stop you. Distribute the cure. Each of the city's signature heroes is waiting for you to deliver a portion of the cure. They'll use their network of heroes to get the cure out quickly. All right, yep, that's right. This is where we, like, go to, like she said, each of the signature heroes. Yeah. So. The first one is uh, uh, Ms. Liberty. No, first one is Ms. Liberty. Yep. Yeah. I think they, it goes in the order of the yeah, task forces, right? Um, by, by level. Oh, by level, okay. Yeah, so it's Miss Liberty, uh, Blue Steel, Positron. Synapse? Um, Synapse. And Manticore and uh, Numina. Okay. So knowing that, we can pre-locate. Yeah, except it's just one of the ones where I, you know, the team, the mission holder has to be the one... I Quite possibly. Yeah. And I noticed when I brought up uh, the long range teleporter, they added a new vanity zone, for lack of a better term. You're at the top of your game, Zap Paladin. I'll make sure this gets distributed properly. Blue Steel's next on the list. I'll see you around. So I'll give Blue Steel a try. I like how, you know, they know I have to go to all of them, but I have to do it in a specific order. Yeah. So, Blue Steel wants to try to train you. <laughs> so, I guess it's all on you. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sounds like the tram is going to get a workout. Go, go, Paragon Transit Authority. They are very reliable. Mm-hmm. Doesn't stop for anything, even when the Richty bomb is on. Yeah. Yeah, we're at the tail end of that, aren't we? The, uh, the Richty invasions. Uh, glad... Good. Good to see you, Zap Paladin. I will do what I can to spread the cure. You should get on over to Steel Canyon and see Positron. Okay, and I've got a whole bunch of people that are identical. Alright, let's go over to Positron. Actually, the... Eh, oh well. 
the uh, yeah. base would have been a better choice because he's right next to it. Already round the bend. But if you've been around the benders, <laughs> uh, I believe so. Afterburner, activate. Yeah, you guys, you guys had said that the travel powers had all gotten changes. Noticed what the change is for Mighty B. Uh, this is very serious business, Zap Paladin, and I applaud your dedication. Synapse is waiting for you in Skyway City. He'll be taking care of both Skyway and King's Row. Well, wait, Blue Steel should be taking care of whatever. Okay. So, yeah. what they did with the uh, travel powers is have you noticed when you. What travel powers do you have on Raquel? She's got the. See that those aren't actual travel pools; those are origin pools. So they didn't get exactly the same treatment. Okay. So do you have like flight, super jump, hasten? I, I have the origin pool version of super jump. I've oh, got okay. Mighty beat. All right. Yeah, that did not get a a change. Yeah. He's near north, that would right? That pretty cool anyway, to start with. Yeah. Now, I had just respect my energy, energy blaster, power paladin, and now I've... You know, i got to do it again. Because of that. Because I don't want infiltration. I really don't, so... Thanks, that paladin! Yeah, well... I'll distribute this at the speed of thought. Citadel's waiting for you over in Talos Island. Good luck. By the way, watch out for ambushes. Having done this not too long ago, I don't recall any ambushes. Okay. That was the first... Uh, abandoned ambush I ever ran into in the game. And this was before Atlas Park was safe. I went into the tram station, and there were like level 35 DE just hanging out in the tram station. Oh. <laughs> you have performed far above normal, normal limits, is that Paladin? I will distribute this immediately. Penelope Yin awaits your arrival in Independence Port. I'm surprised there's nobody standing around him, because his uh, task force is the weekly strike target this week. Oh. This week or next week? Uh, it's this week. Ending. Mm. I don't know what the one is next okay. week. I'm pretty certain, because I, I ran it yesterday with another character. I got the 80 merits for it. Because huh. I showed in Citadel. Yeah, that's who I just talked to. Oh, I thought you were talking about Synapse. Oh. You've done so much, Zap Paladin. It's hard to thank you enough. Now, get the cure to Manicor over in Brickstone. This is like foreshadowing of the Numina task force. <laughs> Somewhat. Hmm? Somewhat. Yep. Bricks, there we go. We didn't have the uh, side trips to the hazard zones, though. No. And there is a pattern. Although Galaxy City being taken out of the rotation screwed up the pattern, but they used to like start in Perez and then spiral outward counterclockwise 
or clockwise. I can't remember which one. And then I think it hit founders and reversed or something along those lines. But anyhow. Thanks. I'll take care of it here. Go see Numina and Founders Falls. Oh, and good work, Zap Paladin. And each of those are paragraphs, not sentences. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this one would probably be faster to go through the base, because she's closer to the base. Right where we started the episode, actually. <laughs> Except I'm always turned around when I get here. There we go. I have been watching your progress from the Astral Realms, that Paladin, and you have done very well. Now, however, I must deliver unto you a dire warning. The despicable devouring Earth have already begun work on a counter-agent to the cure you have delivered. Go now and speak with the one who sent you. You have spared the city for now, but soon you will be needed once more. Alright, let's go speak to the one that sent me, Jenny. You did it! Normally I'd say you should take some time out and celebrate, but Numina's warning changes everything. If the Devouring Earth really are working on a counter-agent to the cure you delivered, we may have to move fast. My trust in you has been very well placed, Zap Paladin. Here are some enhancements. I hope they'll help you. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. I spoke with Dr. Ito about Numina's warning. He agrees that if the Devouring Earth could develop a counteragent quickly, they might be able to prevent the cure you distributed from taking effect. The Unity Plague may still be upon us. In order to distribute the counteragent quickly enough, the Devouring Earth would have to introduce it to the water supply near the purification system. Will you go to the sewers and destroy the Devouring Earth's counteragent? Um, why is our water purification in the sewers? You are a true champion of this day, Zap Paladin. I know you won't let us down. I just had a mission where the water purification was in Craze Folly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really good, yeah. Alright, so, uh, well, speaking of... Oh. So not only is it in the, it's in Craze Folly, it's in the sewers in Craze Folly. Yay. <laughs> you know what I find funny about Craze Folly um, is it was it's actually Venice is the name of the the neighborhood or the zone, and it got the nickname of Craze Folly. And when you're in Brickstown, looking at the gate into the hazard zone, the city went to the effort of putting Craze Folly on the sign. It's just... <laughs> it's like, okay, so the city really just... That's like a big middle finger to Craze Corporation. <laughs> yeah. Not that, you know, Craze isn't necessarily a respectable company, but... I don't know if Zap has ever been to Craze... The map is completely fog of war here. Yeah, Raquel hasn't been here much either. The howls and cries of the devouring earth fill the air. It looks like you're in the right place. Okay. I don't know. I, I would say it, you're in the wrong place. I would say it sounds like I'm in the right place. But I was thinking about doing a super group or a group of people. This has probably already been done, but the spelling bee, the grammar police, the tense teacher, you know, all these 
characters that are named after various uh, silly vocabulary things. Grammar Nazi. I would not go that far, yeah. That's why I was gonna just say Grammar Police. I believe the counter agent blows up so they want to watch themselves. Yeah. I have a few distance attacks. Not many, but a few. Endurance? Nope. Okay. I know Electrical does a little bit of Endurance mod. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, you think you Power Sync? Maybe. Whatever the thin analog of that is. Transference. Transference. Oh, I know what the problem is. I've got fl That's a, another power tra uh, travel power change that is good and yet bad. I used to rely oh, okay. on them auto toggling. Yeah. And now it's like I find I have both fly and hover going at the same time. But you do get the control from hover. Yes. But the endurance drain of fly. get the crystals together like that. I always think of fruity pebbles. They just look like fruity pebbles to me. That's fine. <laughs> the green and the red. Mm, food that turns your milk different colors. How could that be good for us? <laughs> How could it not be good for us? <laughs> it was part of this balanced breakfast. That's right. <laughs> mm. Balanced against what? <laughs> I just like how. Profits. Yeah, I just like how, in order to make that <laughs> statement, they had to show, like, a glass of orange juice, some toast. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think there was, like, even a banana or something, usually. Adding fruit makes everything better, right? <laughs> Depends on the fruit. Yes, I just ate this entire extra large pizza. <laughs> but I had, some, fruit I had some lettuce, so that's okay. <laughs> well, no, it has tomato. That's a fruit right there. There you go. Not to keep our perpetuate, yeah, perpetuate the great undoing war of it. My standard piece is pineapple and pepperoni. I've never tried pineapple and pepperoni. I uh, have converted many people. Okay. Because the, uh, the greasy salt goes really well with the sweetness. Yeah, I would think it would. What did that say? For the Hamadon? Join the Hamadon! 
Well, it's all about the unity. Right? Yeah. Although, you know. I, I, I wouldn't give unit. <laughs> labor unionization efforts uh, much fuck after this episode. There's a DE or, or a DE. There's a lesser over here. Along with a death spore. Fungoid. I was oh, wondering where the fungi came from. Cause it's like I know the minions don't summon those. Kitty is trying to help. I think we got it all. I think so. Ah, the darn Karen got out. So my nuke was useless. Oh, I have a toggle. What does this do? <laughs> it's been so long, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Oh! We have, uh, Will of Ears. Or no, not Will of Ears. That's a different herb. Um, Anyway, it's like past the door. The counter agent. Well, there's the and, one back here. Yeah. Oh, hurt. Destroy. Oh, you'll be fine. It's the. It's pretty much. I think you, Anne, currently would be fine. It's just me that I have. To, whoa! Hello. There's a death spot right around the corner. And he has friends. Because he's a fun guy to be with. Oh, okay. mm. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. Someone Sorry. had to. <laughs> Just like I had... No, no one had to. <laughs> Just like I had to get the Arby's kids meal because of the shovel knight. <laughs> well, well that I can understand. <laughs> Up, Karen. Yeah, it's amazing. When I turn off fly, I don't have endurance issues anymore. Is there another Karen? It just feels like these things are taking a very long time. It's a tree of life over here. Yep. Mm. 
Ah, I miss. Lift, build up, and aim, and I miss. Wow. Huh, sorry. I coughed. Or sneezed. When you rolled at 99%, it doesn't matter what your what your buffs are. Unfortunately. No, isn't it a 1? Well, it, whether it's yeah. a 1 or a 99. <laughs> There's a container over there. Yep. I didn't even see the sun tree. Psy game against the DE. I haven't used Psy a lot against them on any of my other teams. Um, it seems to be okay. I mean, it's a definite, a very different playing style for me. I'm not used to being in the fray and having to walk up to my targets. Blasters and other ranged. Oh, sorry. Regeneration. <laughs> <laughs> that only works if your other mitigation will let you uh, profit. Pearl's got to be in here somewhere. Here it is. It doesn't, side does not work very well on the barrels. <laughs> As I recall, it doesn't work well in robots. Robots are going to be a problem. But that's why you have the Confuse power. And the, uh, the Mass Levitate, I think. Yeah, Mass Levitate, that's, that's my nuke. Uh, that's it. And I believe that was the end of the arc, because I got 43 merits for it. Nice. Well, contrary to their assertions, Unity has been stopped. Let's see what Jenny has to say. The threat of the Uni Unity Plague is over. You did it, Zap Paladin. The whole city owes you. With the cure in place, we should be able to reduce the threat of any similar viruses in the future. The city government is also working with FEMA to stockpile stores of the cure in case the devouring Earth tried this trick in another city. Dr. Ito tells me that the information you helped him gather has taught him a lot about the process that turns humans into devouring Earth monsters. Someday, he hopes, they'll even be able to reverse it. Okay. 
Well, he should get his acting gear because I just started the Terra Conspiracy. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, that was Jenny. Uh, so, what else? We've got. Uh, so there's Tina. What was it? I don't even know if I looked at what she had available. Let's take uh, take a look at Tina. Uh, believe it or not, I need you to rescue a council base. They're under attack by those strange soldiers who call themselves Nemesis. I need you to get the situation under control before the innocent citizens get hurt. Okay. Rescue the council base. Oh, I have team teleport. I should have mentioned that earlier. Yeah, if there's the yeah. door. Do 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 do. I was kind of hoping I would be way up in Sears Island. <laughs> The noises of battle echo deep within this base. It sounds as if Nemesis, and I clicked OK. I don't know why I did that. It sounds as if Nemesis, whatever, who cares? Okay. Came prepared <laughs> for a big fight. Nemesis came prepared for a big fight. Okay. Ah, in the pool room. Yay! I can see it. Oh, I think I, they changed uh, reveal, too. It doesn't root you anymore. Yeah. They they revamped a lot of the rooting stuff. Pretty much the only thing that roots you anymore is if you're um, affecting a critter. Wow. That was nice. Double thunderous <laughs> blast. <laughs> Although I suspect you would have done it all by yourself. I had built up an aim going to. I don't have buffs displayed. I should display buffs uh, up here. Let's see. Some of the base ones at least. So we'll do that. We'll do region. We'll do two hit accuracy damage there we go okay all right Yeah, there was a runner that way. Okay. Yep. Got him. All right. Anything in the boiler room? I think that really stirs at me until you have like five people. Oh, that's right. Vengeance. But when they're all lieutenants, there's nothing you can really do about it. 
make sure you pick them off one at a time. Yeah, but you have to do it separate from each other. Yep. The other thing you could try is nuke them all. See if you kill them all the first time. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Oh, there's a computer over here. Hello, computer. Ah, nice hell. <laughs> right in the middle of some more. I got these up here. Flight packs are a thing. clear here. So this way is just a loop that comes right back. You mean the way I'm going? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is about my dislike of this particular room. Yeah, let's go down. Start from the bottom and work up. I guess that takes care of down here. <laughs> I guess. I hear them. Yep, they're up on the third floor. Is there anybody over? Yep. Oh, a sniper. Oh, a couple snipers. Holy cow. I don't think I've ever seen them put more than one sniper in the same mob before. Alright. I'm gonna go up this way, over here. Because there's always something right at the top of the stairs. Not this time, apparently. Okay. I see a subaltern, <laughs> a subaltern, a surgeon. I don't see any snipers. Oh, a Zenith war cry. war cry. And Lieutenant Hoffman. Oh, and 
there's a blinky over here. That's why we didn't see it the first time it was on the other side. And I think that's it. Preemptive, no. Oh, a performance shifter. Mm. <coughs> End mod, recharge, accuracy. Alright, let's see what Tina has to say. It's hard to believe that the original nemesis may still be around. He disappeared just before the Richty War. If the Council's findings are true, we better get ourselves prepared. The last time Nemesis decided to cause trouble, he nearly gassed half the country. I shudder to think what he'd do today. Hey, guess what? The Freak Show War. Oh. I just got word that the Freak Show are tearing up the office of a webzine called Hypertypes that follows Paragon City's super-powered scene. Can you go to that office and save those reporters from the Freak Show? Hypertypes reports on the activities of all superpowered individuals, both heroes and villains alike. Perhaps I found out something the Freak Show doesn't want in the public yet. Or in the public eye. Blech. Reading is hard. Uh, da, 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 da. Atlas. Um, I don't think I have... I have an oro. Okay. I have an oro too, but if you're going to drop that one, that'll work. I'm sure Mendo's, you know, Mender Silas appreciates that people just use <laughs> the, uh, uh, what do they call this? Ouroboros. No, the, well, Ouroboros is a zone, but the thing that's floating, there was a name for it, and I can't remember what it is now. Mm. I got two two recipes. One was performance shifter, the other was preemptive optimization. Both of them are endurance mod. The sounds of terror fill the hypertype's office. All right, bunches of slashing lethal and energy. Ooh, and a super stunner. Remember, you can keep them down. Day out of range. Right? Yep. After they uh, die. But it could be hard for uh, Raquel. Yeah. for hostages. Oh, there's a blinky in here somewhere. I hear it. There it is. Oh, I found one of the uh, one of the reporters. Where are the two of you at? There's nothing else here. I've got some. Oh, okay. There you are. Oh, yeah. There's the pink right there. Like two tanks up here. That was 
was just a slasher. You'll have to do the thing that uh, I did and recolor your powers now that you're fighting. It's much like you guys. Yeah. I can't tell the difference between theirs and yours. <laughs> Well, I'd have to hit a tailor really quick. Because apparently only tailors know how to recolor powers. I can't. I guess that's why they get paid the big bucks. Pretty big, apparently. Yeah. It's 40 million in costume changes for that badge. Is it 40 or 50? Uh, it's Ridiculous. tens of million. <laughs> it's redonkulous levels. On the catwalk above you. Yeah. And then there's a hostage in the little room. And there's an ambush coming up. Ah, that was your Sparky. Yeah. Can you recolor Sparky? Uh, he recolors with the rest of your powers, yep. Okay. Or at least his powers do, I don't know. Bring mine back up. Yeah, Sparky himself doesn't change color, but he's, he's a little light and bit steep. There was going to be stuff around the corner. When is there not? When the, you know, when the GM rolls poorly. stuck in the wall. His head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear... And this corridor. The other over here. Yeah, it's got to be over on the other side. Yep. Oh. Oh. I'm picking up. 
let me guess. Oh. Wow. I'm in the room. Oh, because there's the hostage right there. Okay. They took Mike Schwartzwald away. You need to find him. It's a shame you weren't able to save that Schwartzwald fellow. It sounds like he was the Freak Show's primary target. At least you were able to recover his files. Most of those notes do seem to be about the Freak Show, though I'm afraid they'd only make sense to Schwartzwald himself. Maybe he got too close to something. There are several references to meetings with a man named Joe Baker. Maybe he can tell us more about the Freak Show's attack. I'm determined that the Freak Show will go down for the... Somebody's trying to read my fortune. <laughs> I'm determined that the Freak Show will go down for the re for the murder of that reporter, Mike Schwartzwald. I've located the Joe Baker ma mentioned in Schwartzwald's files. Turns out Mr. Baker is a mid-level manager at Cray Industries. I managed to contact him, and he agreed to meet with you. He sounded really nervous. I'd recommend that you be ready for just about anything. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe Mr. Barker knows what Schwartzwald was investigating. That information could tell us why the freak show killed him. Okay. Uh, well, we've been going for almost an hour. So, we might want to say, uh, uh, call it for this issue? Yep. Okay. okay. We will have to follow up with meeting Joe Baker in the next issue of the Chronicles of Zap Paladin, but we're back. We're back. We're playing again. We can do fun things, and uh, I can play my electric electric blaster again, relearning how he put works. So, um, and going through doors that we probably shouldn't. Okay, yep, that's what I thought. It takes you to the top of the building. That's the roof oh. door. Oh, hey, and there's... Yeah, this would be... Oh, my... <laughs> Oh, couple of Vazlock right there. Yeah, but be a nice place to sign off. Yeah, so it has the best view. Let's see where are we. At? Okay, yeah. So City Hall is right over there in the fog. We can't quite see it. I see Prometheus. Oh wait, no, there's City Hall right there. Derp. I see it. Okay. Probably easier to see from over here. Whoop. Like I'm gonna turn off that. So but anyhow. Yep. Alright. Well it's been a lot of fun and we're gonna be back every week. So um hopefully we'll get the rest of the gang together and it'll be kinda like uh kinda like old times, but not quite like old times because uh, the other characters have uh, Shahrazad and Kid Viscus have also gotten way up there in their levels. Uh, yeah. But in fact, I think Shahrazad's pretty close to 50. Um, but, you know, we're going to keep doing this and it's going to be a lot of fun. So um, I guess that's it. So we will see all of you in the next episode of Cities. No, not Cities of Skylines. It's been so long. <laughs> City of Heroes in the Chronicles of Zap Paladin with the rest of the Knights of the Agro. Raquel. Actually, I don't know if Raquel and uh, currently occupied are members of the Knights of Agro. I guess anybody I that's with are. Zap is, right? So, uh, I think Raquel had some time with the Knights of Agro. Okay. All right. So. I, I, I rotate. You know, I, I'm like the, you know, weekly guest star. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're like the, uh, in police squad. Also, William Shatner. <clears throat> and then he just dies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully without the dying. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, everybody. Our special guest star is currently occupied. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.